It has been a decade since Chrysalis, Kosoglo, and Terak returned to Stone Statue by Celestia, Luna, and Discord. Ever since then, the whole kingdom of Equestia had enjoyed the peace, and especially under the peaceful ruling of Princess Twilight Sparkle. And one of the ponies that very much enjoy to hearing this story about the defeat of the trio, which they often be called, is Princess Flurryheart, her own niece. But one day when Flurryheart was actually in Cantalot to see her aunt for a visit, she actually asked her the question. Um, Aunt Twilight? Yeah, Flurry, what is it? Um, you know that the, the trio? Ah, Cosiglo, Terek, and Chrysalis. Yeah, what about them? Well, why haven't you unfrozen them from the statue and, you know, given an opportunity to reform? Like you did gave Discord with your friends all those years ago? Oh, well, it's a little bit complicated. Oh, how's that? She asked. Well, you know, Tidark, Kosoglo, and Chrysalis are unique characters, but they're also very dangerous as combined force. But isn't Discord very unique? Otherwise, I mean, with his unique magic and all that? Flurry Heart asked. You have a good point, but yeah, we did try to give Chrysalis an opportunity to reform, but she refused. And as we don't know about this Terek though, he just wants to steal the magic, so I do believe that it's very hard for him to even be reformed. What about Kosiglo? I mean, is it possible they can give her the opportunity to buy them herself? I mean, she isn't an alicorn or unicorn, she's a pegasus. Yeah, I know that might be a bit hard to do, to even give her opportunity, said Twilight. Can you even consider it just release her alone? This is something I, I had to discuss with the others. You know, the Council of Friendship of all. It's a um, very um, touching debate on that. But I'll let, I'll let you know the question if they actually agreed or not. I understand, said Flurry. But the next day, after the Twilight had, Twilight had discussed all about this, the debating of letting Kosiglo out from the stone statue or not, after the hard debating on this, they all agreed to give Fleur, Fleur's idea of releasing Kosiglo to give her a chance of being reformed. And Fleury Hart was actually invited the day when that happened. Kosiglo felt a little bit very, at least in the beginning, really dizzy. She was dizzy, she felt very blurry vision and all that. For some reason, Twilight actually managed to use with her help of her friends to only release Kosiglo from that stone statue, so separate that. When she saw it all happened, she demanded to know why she was released and Twilight said, Kosiglo. Your punishment after being turned to stone statue was a very accurate crime, a punishment for your crimes, along with the others. But we have chosen to give you a chance to reform. <laughs> me reformed? Are you kidding me? You don't know that they're gonna, that's going to work. Well, you never know. That's why I put Discord as your... Well, Watcher, and there's only one that actually had volunteered to be to one to be the one that to, to try to reform you. Oh, who? You? Not me. Not one of your friends? Actually, no. That would be me. And Kosa turned her look and saw a young alicorn. And who are you, if may ask? My name is Princess Flurryheart. I am Princess Twilight's niece. I was volunteered to give you the chance of being reformed. Oh, really? Well, since I'm free, I can just simply fly away. Oh, no, you won't. 
And then suddenly, Discord snapped his fingers and a magical rope turned tied her wings to her body so that she couldn't fly. Hey, what did you do that for? It's a way to, to, to make sure you don't run away. Or, in this case, fly away, he said. All right, all right, I won't. So, can you release those? Not a chance, said Discord with a grin. That will stay there until you have proven to be actually being reformed. Ha, huh, this might be a little bit bummer. So, now what? You just talk about it? Not exactly, said Discord. Twilight? I agreed. Kosiglo? I put, as the new ruler of Equestia, I give you a sentence. That you will stay by the side of Flurry Heart and Discord for the next two months in Crystal Empire, and by the end of two months, we will have you violated to see, we will have you examined to see if you actually have reformed or not. And that made Coastal Globe really much devastated, but at least that she was free from this. And even though that she was planning to try to escape from Discord and Flurry Heart. And that next day, they actually took the train all the way back to Crystal Empire, just to them, three of them. Even though the train, Cozy Glow just didn't say anything. Discord just didn't, didn't mind at all. He just said by himself, Flurry, by the way, tried to communicate, she tried to communicate with, with Cozy Glow. But it wasn't really much an effort that she just flirted Costa Glow just mostly ignored Flurry Heart. But Discord said then, almost when I snapped, Hey, at least try to talk to her. She's willing to be in one to get to know you. Fine. And then she started talking to Costa Glow to Flurry Heart. And at first she thought that was she felt that was quite annoying. But the rest of the joy on the ride back to Crystal Empire was somehow she felt very at least ease when she talked to Flurry. And when she went to Crystal Empire, she was actually even given her own special room in her own room in the palace. Of course, Discord put a spell so that she won't be able to leave the room without him or Flurry Heart. So in a sense, I'm in a, I have my room is my own prison cell? You can say that, but it is only for your safety. My safety is probably for yours. And even during that time, she tried to get off this rope around her, but it didn't work. Because she knows chaos magic is not like a ordinary pony magic. And for the next few days, even though that the cadence, the shining armor, and both themselves were very concerned to have one of those big criminals or the, one of the big villains in their own home. But Twilight had ensured both of them that it won't be any different, any danger. Now they have Discord and that he was willing to turn into stone if she shown the slightest any difference of not being reformed. So for the next few days after she arrived at Crystal Empire, Cozy Glow walked alone with Flurry Heart in town just to get to know each other better, try to break the silence of ice between them, try to be more friendly. And at first, Cozy Glow just pretended to be very friendly. But just after about a week, her, her demeanor towards Flurry Heart was actually different. For some reason, she actually didn't still, when she was around with Flurry, for some reason, she couldn't even explain it. She felt attracted to Flurry Heart. She felt if somehow she was attracted towards her kindness, her willingness to help. But she tried to make an excuse that the friendship is a disease, as Chrysalis once said. She tried to brush it off. But it wasn't that easy. As the time went on, even Discord had somehow noticed that 
Every time when Flurry Heart was alone with Cozy Glow, Cozy was actually felt was acting more very outgoing friendly. Unlike not unlike that she had an not like a, a secret motive or anything. Even though when he did have his report back to Twilight of an updating of the condition of Cozy Glows in Crystal Empire. And Twilight was actually a bit happy to hear at least some of the behavior of Cozy Glow start to acting much more up. And after just one month had passed, Twilight suggests that they remove this magical rope around Cozy Glow. Flurry Heart actually agreed, but Shining Armor, Cadence, and Discord disagreed. And even though Twilight's old friends actually disagreed as well. But as an order from the Royal Princess, Discord agreed to do it. And they were expecting her to take off, but she didn't. And in fact, all she said was, well, at least I can stretch my wings over after all mouth now. But Discord? Yes. Thank you. I I really I really mean it. I really do. And he can actually sense that she was actually genuine honest about it. But still, Shining Armor did not allow her to be alone. So even if she was with either Discord or Flurry Heart, she had at least two guards just nearby, just in case if something would happen. But it was nothing to put at. Because sometimes it was just Cozy Glow and Flurry Heart. They were just enjoying the day. They either went to the cafe or just sitting out in the meadows or even in Flurry's own room playing games and reading together. And during this time, even somehow Flurry actually sort of been attracted to Cozy Glow. Because, but it happened when she and Cozy was alone in town. It happened that some ponies looked at him. Especially Cozy Glow. Because Cozy Glow was a well-known pony even have been 10 years after what happened. Ponies actually despised her for what she did. But ever since then, after the thought after just only about a month, she started to actually showing true kindness. And one day, just before the two months mark had happened to end, Flurry actually took with Costa Glow for a picnic outside town without telling any pony, which normally would have been led to a very much devastating effect. But during this picnic, though, Cozy Glow actually confessed her true feelings for Flurry. And Flurry smiled and said that she actually felt the same thing. But Cozy said, Even if so, I doubt, your I doubt your parents or any pony would even accept our relationship. She said with a, bit, with a sad face. And Flurry actually nodded and said, Yeah. I agreed. I mean, but then the same thing is when my Forex lived here, a lot of ponies was actually against him as well. I mean, who would even blame him? He was a changeling. And at the time, changelings were pony kinds, one of the biggest enemies. But Forex showed them that even changelings could also be good. So I do believe if you really had shown the true honesty and true kindness and loyalty as my mom's as my mom's my mom's uh, my aunt and her friend represent I do believe they will believe you are you sure about that? yeah and do you maybe want to be with me as my you know girlfriend? And Flurry was actually a bit silent and Cozy for expecting that was going to be a no, but I loved it. I mean, 
I wouldn't mind. They actually even shared a kiss. But when they went back to the palace, they were surrounded by guards and even confronted by shining armor. Flurry, where in the question have you been? Where did you tell your, me or your mom what you're going? And where she had been? She would be with me the whole time, Dad. Are you sure? Yes. Excuse me, but she's telling the truth, Your Highness. I was with Flurry the whole time. I didn't go anywhere else. I promise it's the truth. We'll see, said he said, and walked off. That same night, Shuri, Shining Armor, and Cadence had a very discussions with Flurry to never do that again, because they never know how, if that was just an act. But then she told them the most shocking news. You say what? She said Shining Armor almost screaming. Shining, it's not need to be yelling around like that, said Cadence. What do you mean? Flurry. Me and Cozy Glow are together as a couple. I understand if you don't believe it and accept it, but it, it is. I had a hard believe this, said Johnny Armour. Dad, and for all ponies, I thought you would understand. I mean, first of all, Chrysalis did want to use, use you under the spell. And how can that happen to me? First of all, Cozy isn't even a unicorn or an alicorn. She is a pegasus. And how would she even be able to put a slot spell on me? And first, another thing is, she isn't even a changeling. So think about it. If you can't allow me to be with her, I probably should just step down as the crown prince at the next heir. You could just do that, couldn't you? I would. Don't do that anything has too hesitating now, do we? Mom, I believe you. Because hearing your voice and hearing her voice is true genuine love between you two, said Kenneth with a smile. Wait, do you actually believe them? said K Shining Armor. Yes, I do. And you should too. Think about the Forex. How we treated him back then. That's right, Dad. Forex was treated badly, but when he shown them that he was actually genuine, and after a while, ponies started to love him here, and he made a lot of friends. Shouldn't you do the same thing with Cozy? She had actually shown a lot of progress in this. I'm sorry, it, it, it just, I understand that, considering what she did along with Chrysalis and Tyrek all those years ago, I understand, but at least accept my relationship with her. <sighs> this will take time to get used to, but yeah, you have my word, I promise. And then a few weeks later, the two months mark ended. They all went back to Crystal and to Cantalot to have her examined to, to prove if she needed to be restored back to the stone statue or be left free permanently. And as the further going, they proven her to be genuine. Another thing when Chris was, when Flurry said, So Discord, what is your final report of in the progress of Kozaglo to be reformed? Well, my final report is that she really has shown the willingness to be reformed. And she actually has made a, a lot of progress. She even made some friends in back in Crystal Empire. But she has made one significant improvement in this report. Oh? What kind of significant? Well, it's, um, said Discord and scratched his head and said, it's, um, it was one uh, thing that we didn't actually, actually never thought of planning to happen. Oh? Um, what? Well, I think it's probably best for Flurry Heart to explain herself. Flurry? Uh, yes. 
Fleury was actually a bit nervous, because she went step forward, and in front of her stood her aunt and her and her aunt's friends. Well, as Discord said, um, well, she made a lot of progress. She was, um, you know, very hesitating. She did lie a lot. She misbehaved on some few things, but but it took her time. And after about a month, she started showing a lot of progress. And just before the two-month mark ended, um, the big significant event that Discord talked about is that... Um, and before Kelsey and uh, Flurry could say anything, Kelsey actually stepped forward and said, Me and Flurry Hart are dating. Wait, what? Said Spike. Wait, are you serious? Yes, we are, said Cozy, a little bit, almost a little bit angry. Is this true, sweetie? Asked Twilight or Inis. Yes, Aunt Twilight, it is true. But Mom and Dad actually accept it. And... I told him, if no one any pony, don't worry. What? I can see that she's very genuine about it. Wait, are you serious, Aunt Twilight? Yes. What do you think? And then she looked at her friends and all nodded and said, We agreed. And then she turned to her friends and they have a serious talk, only talked for only a few minutes together. Cozy girl. Yes? She said almost nervous. We have decided your final punishment. P punishment? Punishment on the twilight? What do you mean? The punishment is... You will be released. Why? Said everyone almost a little bit surprised. You have proven... To really to be reformed and to see you so happy with my niece brings me joy in my heart and that words she nodded flurry actually just jumped over close glow and hugged her and both cried of joy ever since that day close glow and and flurry heart walked around under in candlelight or in Ponyville or back in Crystal Empire, openly. They had no problem to being misjudged by Kosiglo's past events or her past actions. Sure, there was a lot of ponies there who was still very much angry that they were allowing her to be released. But it took time for the whole kingdom to actually have moved on and accepted Kosiglo for who she is now. And even though that they had a lot of time to get up, but sometimes Cousin Glow actually go to see the statue of Tyrek and Chrysalis alone. And a few guards actually looked at this and they wondered if she was planning to release them. But one of the guards actually overheard and said, You two, I know that what we did was wrong. And... Even if you can hear me, I'm actually very happy that I have made friends, true friends. And if you two would be released, I really had hoped that you two could have been reformed along with me. But I doubt that you even would be. Even those words were later reported back to Twilight. She was so surprised that that Cosiglo actually had accepted all this. But she was just happy. She was. And as time went on, after being together for five years, Cosiglo and and Flurry Heart actually got met they actually admitted their true feelings even again when Cosiglo proposed to Flurry Heart. And Flurry Heart herself, she was just overjoyed. They actually even got married at the time. And 
they decided to have their wedding in Canterlot. Twilight was asked to be the one to be performing the ceremony. And even afterwards, every pony that was invited, ambassadors, royal guests, family members, every pony was just happy to see the new heir to the throne of the Crystal Empire getting married with someone that she likes. And after all this, there were a lot of discussions even before the wedding if this was just an act. But since Fleury and Cozy have been together for five years, they actually really enjoyed to be with the one they loved the most. And they even went to Central Arabia for two whole weeks. And they were just happy there to enjoy some of the so much scenes, doing side scenes, having romantic dinners, and even to just simply watch some of the local performance. And after they've been dating for, or been married for two years, Cozy Glow and Flurry wanted to have their own family. So they asked Twilight for help, and she was gladly to help. And Flurry decided that she wanted to be pregnant first. And a few months later, after she, get, she was get pregnant, she had a baby girl. They had a daughter which they named Aurora Isles. Aurora was very much like her mother, talent in magic, and she was actually surprised to hear more about her mom, Kosi's backstory. But her true passion herself is that she wanted to be an actor. And she was actually sent up to an actress school. And after a few years, she actually even became a very much talent actress. And she later moved to Maidhead to start working as an actor. In the beginning, she had only a small role in here and there, but eventually, she eventually moved on to bigger roles. And she even married another actor. And they even got married after being dating for about three years. And they even had two daughters of their own. Two years later, Cozy had a daughter which they named Violet Glass. Violet Glass was a little bit as shy as a filly, but she loved always to spend time with her sister and her mom, her mom's and her aunt Twilight. But it was one thing that she loved to do the most. She shown a great passion in making and painting glass. She actually wanted to be painting glass like windows and all that kinds of things. And she actually became a very well well-respected and well-talented glass painter when she was older. She even opened her own glass painting shop in Baltimore. And eventually, she even got married after being dating a stallion for about two years and even had two daughters of their own. Two years later, they had another daughter, which they named Vanilla Light. She was like her mother, strong in magic, very loyal, but one thing that she was, she was fast in flying, like her mother, Cozy Glow. She loved to read and even write her own stories. She wanted to be an author. She loved most of all romance novels. In fact, she even wrote her own very first romance novel when she was just 19 and had it published. And the book was success. After that, she decided to, to continue to be as an author, and in fact, still lived in the Crystal Empire. In fact, none of that, she was even given a reward as the best author of the year. And eventually, she even married a painter. And they even got married after being dating for, for, about, for about three years, and now have two daughters and one son together. Two years later, Cozy had a daughter she named Crystal T. 
Crystal T loved to do making new teas of her own. In fact, she even discovered her special talent was to make tea. About her tea was that it made you feel warm and very much peaceful. And even no matter what situation, if you're if you were sad, heartbroken, or in the, or if you were depressed, her teas always made you feeling happy, regardless what you did. And for that, she wanted to open her own cafe, and she moved to Manhattan, where she opened her cafe, and it was a good success due to the fact her special tea she had. And at one point, she even got married to a stallion who she married after being dating for about four years, and even had two daughters and one son. Two years later, Flurry had another daughter which they named Jemmy Magic. Jemmy was very much very shy as a filly, and she would have had difficult to make friends. But thanks to her older sisters, she eventually was able to move on and eventually develop an outgoing personality. But it took her really much hard for her to interview as a filly. But it was one thing that she loved the most even though that she was young, and that was singing. She often just sang by, her, by herself, either in her room, or when she was just alone in the palace garden. But eventually, she started developing this you know, problem to singing for family and friends. But she didn't want to be a singer like that. She wanted to just be a singing teacher. And eventually, when she was old enough, she even started working as a music teacher. She even, get, even got married to a stallion from Ponyville. And they even got married after been dating for about two years. They even had two daughters and three sons together. Two years later, Cozy Glow gave birth to two daughters, twins. One was named Snug Swirl. Snug Swirl was very much loved the performance. She was like her mother when she was young, very, very energetic, very outgoing Philly. She loved the performance. And in fact, even though that meant most of her friends like, is she going to be an actor or something? That was one thing that she thought of when she was growing up. But but her true passion was in music. She wanted to be a music teacher. She loved to play piano, guitar, and drums. And when she was old enough, she even opened her own music school when she moved to Trollingham. And it was a good success as well. Ponies loved it. And eventually she got married and even got married with the stallion after being dating him for two years. They have two daughters and two sons together. The other second twin daughter was named Ocean Heart. Ocean Heart was like her older sisters, very energetic, very outgoing, but the most of all she loved was jewelry. She found a strong passion that she wanted to be a jeweler one day. And in fact, even as a filly, she often drew her own designs of what jewelry she would make when she was older. She realized that it could have been a bit hard to open her own jewelry store. But when she was older enough, about around 20 years old, she actually went to Trottingham and opened her own jewelry store. And she even made some of her old childhood designs and all of them was just a success the general public loved her designs and that even drew attention to one particular stallion and they even got married after been dating for about two years and even had two daughters and one son together five years later flurry actually have twins again Two, two boys. One was named Theodore Roll. 
He loved acting, and even when he was just a cult, he often went to acting classes, and it inspired him to want to be a great actor one day. When he was older, he actually even moved to Maidhattan, where he hoped to get any particular potential to be a good actor. Even though it took him a little bit, a little bit while to find it happened, at first in the beginning, he just had smaller roles, but he was just happy even though he had just small roles, but eventually, the director gave him as bigger roles once and then once or twice at, at first, but after the public loved him, he was giving more and more leading roles. And sometimes he ended up having small roles in the background, but he was just happy. He even eventually got married to a nurse, and they eventually have two daughters and one son of their own together. Her second twin son was named Eros Love. He loved about anything of a romance. In fact, he wanted to be a romance novel one day. And even when he was around between 15 and 17, he usually wrote his own romance novels, but he was a bit too shy that he would eventually to have it published. But with his family's encouragement, he eventually published his first romance novel when he was 19. And it was a, su a great success. And hearing that words when he finally found out, he was happy. And in fact, he continued to write his own romance novels. And eventually, he fell in love with a mayor from Crystal Empire. They got married and have. They got married after being dating for about five years. And they even, even had two daughters and one son of their own together. After being released from her stone statue prison, Kosiklo was really excited that she would be out. But what she realized that she had been going through a lot of process in order to prove herself to be reformed. Otherwise, she would have been risked to being sent back in her stone statue prison once again. And with all that dedication of Flurry Hearts, patient and love, she eventually was able to reform Kosiglo, but unexpectedly, she felt attracted to her. She fell in love. And even the same thing as for Kosi. In fact, she didn't even believe herself that she would fall in love with anybody. But she was just happy that she did. And she could have been more happier to be in love with the pony that she loved the most. Even Flurry Hart herself was very excited to be given an opportunity to reform a former villain, like Fluttershy did with Discord all those years earlier. But what she didn't expect is that she would fall in love with the former villain, and eventually even to get married. She was just happy that she confessed her feelings and when it's the same thing as as Cozy did for her. Even especially when Cozy admitted her true feelings for Flurry, she could not even believe it at first. And even at their wedding, Flurry Heart actually even made Cozy Glow immortal, which Cozy Glow really appreciated. And after all this, both of them are just happy and proud to have nine children of their own together and 28 grandchildren. And this is how Cozy Glow and Flurry Heart for the true love got a big family together. The end.